This week, Rhea and I are headed out on the trail, but first, we got to make a quick pit stop at Jorgensen's, and hopefully we won't take too long. Then, Reese and Marianne Steiner back to show off another popular tourist location that is rich with Native American and New Mexican history. Finally, we are headed down to Delta for some high-octane, rock-crawling adrenaline that is sure to get you on the edge of your seat. So buckle up. At Your Leisure is next. Chadwick, we're in, we're out. We got five minutes. Yeah. And we're not going to stick oh, around. I'm, we just got to get what I'm we get. I'm all we're about out. that. Listen to your own words. I know. Okay, Pinky Promise. Okay, Pinky Promise. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure today. We are on our way to ride the Paiute Trail, but as usual, I forgot a couple of things, so we stop by here at Jorgensen's to pick them up on the way. They're kind of on the way to everywhere. Yes, I love this place, and it truly is a candy store. When you get in there, you just can't get out, but we're going to do it today, aren't we? All right, we're going to try. Yeah, we will. We'll okay. be good. All right, come <laughs> with us, and we'll be right back. All right. Like what, 90, 100 miles, 100 miles, wow. These kitty strollers are awesome. I love these things. Not only can they take your kids for a ride, but you can use them for shopping, which is fantastic in here. Look at this, exploding targets. This is what I'm talking about right here. Yeah, and I have only just begun. Yeah, we definitely need some of this. Oh yeah, these are sweet too. These t-shirts are so soft. I mean, they're awesome, no kidding. You'll wear them. They, they wash up fantastic. And Jorgensen Power Sports. You're a cool kid on the block. Huh, yeah, this'll do. Hey Chad, honey. Uh, I was looking for you. Can I use your credit card, please? <laughs> I've done a little bit of shopping, and I know we were only supposed to be in here for a minute, but honestly, you know you can't just come in and out of this place. There's too much to do, there's too much to see, there's too much to buy. Hey, hey, you get back here. <laughs> I know where you keep it, mister. I'll have to frisk him. I'm gonna shake him upside down. Get up. Ooh, custom paint. There's the paint. Smoky, well, what this do you place. think, Rhea? I'm telling you, this trek, uh -huh. custom, custom painted, custom everything. This is the Maserati of treks. Yeah, I like this one because I feel fast. Yeah, you are fast in it. <laughs> You're like Speedy Gonzalez fast. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> look at the, look at those power thighs, honey. Yeah, it's chicken legs. <laughs> anyway, uh, so what do you think? You I, I think we should blow our COVID money on this. Well, we have been saving it up, but yeah. we may go over the whole budget, which is I don't the, think it'll make it even on uh, this bike. No, I don't think so. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we've got more at your leisure ahead, and we really are going to get to the Paiute Trail today. This is only a short stop. <laughs> uh, but right now, it's time for you to go to our Where To Adventure. It Let's has go. been nothing yeah, but yeah, short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm Rick Stein at your leisure in Taos, New Mexico, one of America's most popular tourist towns. It's also rich in Native American, Mexican, and early New Mexican history. 
Like most ski towns, Taos, New Mexico has an active summer vibe, fueled by beautiful scenery, intriguing traditions, hot spicy food, fun shopping, and fascinating architecture. Um, it's a very quaint little town, delicious food. Um, we got to see Kit Carson's grave, which was exciting because we live in Nevada and Carson City. Adobe-style buildings large and small dominate Taos, beginning with San Francisco de Assis Church, a national historic site begun in 1772, one of the most photographed examples of early clay and straw adobe architecture, a technique dating back a thousand years, featuring flat roofs, rounded corners, and a stucco surface parishioners turn out every year to refinish. The main entrance is flanked by huge buttresses supporting twin bell towers. The interior features an adobe roof supported by closely spaced timbers. Nearby, the Native American-style Jesus Nazareno Cemetery features the grave of Hoosiers and Easy Rider star Dennis Hopper, who made his last ride here in 2000. His cross is adorned with iconic biker bandanas. Easy Rider was filmed in Taos, and Hopper fell in love with the place. The Taos Main Square echoes the native feel with adobe-style buildings, many adorned with the state veggie of New Mexico, the Chile. Sadly for us, the best attraction in Taos, historic Taos Pueblo, was closed and inaccessible because of COVID. Eh, maybe next time. Taos was very interesting. It was a little disappointing that the Pueblo was closed because we weren't able to go visit that, and that's the main attraction. There's another famous subterranean resident in Taos, mountain man, trapper, guide, Indian fighter, army officer, and larger-than-life frontiersman, Kit Carson. At age 17, he ran away from home with fur trappers heading west and eventually settled in Taos. He lived in this adobe house the last 25 years of his life. The home is now the Carson Museum, with lots of stuff from his life, which included a trip to Utah in 1845. It's just one of dozens of museums and art galleries that draw visitors to Taos. Carson was 58 when he died in 1868 and is buried near the historic home in the famous family plot. Just out of town, the award-winning steel bridge high over the Rio Grande River Gorge is a must-do. It was pretty amazing. Um, it just spanned across this gorge that you could plummet to your death, but <laughs> it seemed very safe. Um, over a thousand feet long and 650 feet above the Rio Grande makes it the fifth highest bridge in the United States. Built in 1965, the steel industry named it the most beautiful steel bridge in the state in 1966. And just down the road a piece, a most bizarre subdivision, a neighborhood of earth ships, an early 1970s attempt at recycling using trash to build energy efficient homes. Yes, Taos has an eclectic array of attractions from really old to really strange. Very interesting, it, it just kind of paints a picture in your mind, and it's just nice to see it in reality. Reese died with Mary Ann with this week's Where To Adventure in Taos, New Mexico. You own a boat because you love spending time on the water. Choose the outboard that allows you to make the most of it. Honda Marine's legendary reliability, durability, ease of maintenance, and powerful performance keep you going strong. And they're all backed by the peace of mind protection of the industry's best limited warranty. So no matter what boat you're putting on the water, put the power of a Honda behind you. Brought to you by these Honda Marine dealers. Take a vacation somewhere tropic. No, not tropical. Tropic Utah. Red rocks, slot canyons, arches, and UTV trails for everyone. Down low or up high, with all the food and lodging you'd expect. Easy access to Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument, Kodachrome Basin State Park, and Bryce Canyon National Park. Tropic Utah. Palm trees not included.
You all right? I don't know. He only does this when we come to Jorgensen's. Tunex is proud to present this how-to safety tip brought to you by the Utah ATV Association. Hi, I'm Steve with the Utah ATV Association. What happens when you're out on the trail and you break a CVT belt on your machine? Well, today we're gonna to show you how to fix that. Some of the basic tools that you need are going to be, um, I carry a cordless impact, with uh, various Torx bits, screwdriver bits, um, nut drivers. Then I have a socket set and also an end wrench set here. So the first thing you need to do is get, get the uh, belt cover off from the clutch housing. So in this case, it's uh, number 30 Torx all the way around. Now that we've got all the bolts removed, now we're gonna remove the cover. Now that we got the cover off, now you can see what you have. You have your primary clutch, which is your drive clutch, and your secondary clutch, which is the centrifugal clutch that expands and contracts with the engine RPM. We need to take this bolt out to get this clutch to come apart. If you'll notice right here, there's a black mark. There's one on the back side also. Make sure you keep, I've done that with a marker at home, or there's an X right here. There's, that, that will help you to line your clutches back up when you go to back together with it. There we go. We've removed the bolt that holds the sheaves together. As you slide this off, be very careful because there's shims on the back side and you don't want it, those shims to fall out. Those are the shims. Make sure that they stay on that. We have a brand new belt here. Pay attention. When you pull the old belt off, there's marks on there, arrows. Make sure you put the new belt on with the arrows facing in the same direction. As you put the cover back on, you'll notice my marks don't line up, but they will as it tightens up. As you tighten it down, you want to spin the clutch so it brings that belt Now my two marks are lined back up, the belt's tight, spins freely in both directions. So now we just gotta put the cover back on. Okay, we got the belt changed, the cover's put back on, we're ready to get back out on the trail. I'm Steve at the Utah ATV Association. See you out on the trail. The name Tunex stands for Tune-Up Experts. We do everything from bumper to bumper. We are complete car experts. All electronics, braking systems, suspension systems, we have the technology to take care of those. Let us show you what personalized service is all about and how we could care for your automobile. And that's what we're here for, give you driving confidence. If your family is like mine, normal vacations don't cut it. We'd rather blaze our own trails than follow the crowd. We'd rather run through the mud than stand in line. And we'd rather spend time together than with anyone else. We'd rather visit Marysvale, our home for family adventure.
it's time to get out and ride. During the Yamaha Get Out and Ride sales event, with as low as 2.99 APR for 36 months on every single Yamaha motorcycle, ATV, and side-by-side, -side, plus amazing customer cash offers. See your local Yamaha dealer for huge savings, then get out and ride. Get your new Yamaha at Stedman's Recreation. Ride hard, play hard. Stedman's.net. You own a boat because you love spending time on the water. Choose the outboard that allows you to make the most of it. Honda Marine's legendary reliability, durability, ease of maintenance, and powerful performance keep you going strong. And they're all backed by the peace of mind protection of the industry's best limited warranty. So no matter what boat you're putting on the water, put the power of a Honda behind you. Brought to you by these Honda Marine dealers. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. I'm looking for Chad, can't find him, so I decided to bowl a few rounds. Here we go. Stay right. Oh. Always, I never strike, never. Hey, there he is. Hey, Chad, I'll take a chicken wrap. I found him. Right, Rhea. Well, you know, I guess we may as well stay for lunch. Hey, can we get a couple of chicken wraps? You betcha. Uh, they are so good. I can't wait. You want those in a combo? Yep, sure. Medium okay. and a large. All right, awesome. All right, check back with you. You know, a lot of people make Jorgensen's a destination, not just a place to come pick up stuff. They make full-blown shopping trips out of it, the bowling alley, a lot of stuff. Let's check out what they have to offer here. It's fun just to go, even if you're not gonna buy anything. That's what I want to do here I want people to be able to come and walk into a dealership and have 40 side-by-sides on the showroom floor as well as the stuff that you can look at outside and test ride. And we have the ability to do that here because we have the real estate. So people can come and test ride it or I want them to be able to come and kick tires, look at guns, go eat in the snack bar, you know, while they're waiting for their side-by-side -side to get fixed, buy a new Ford, uh, or we let people go bowl while they're waiting. I mean, how can you get better than that? And people appreciate that. I think that whole combination works for us. In 74, my dad bought the bowling alley and moved his store out to the new location where we're still at right now. So I grew up working in there. I mean, every weekend I worked in there and, and Dennis, of course, did too. And then we were the assembly crew. All right, so one clean machine and two really dirty ones. Explain this. That would be me, the guide, out in front, smooth sailing, no dust. Now you look really familiar. You are Russ Stuckey. Yes. You're the guy that brings his machine, rides his machine from St. George up to Richfield to get it serviced. That's correct. Have you guys learned any lessons from this? This, we only listen to breath. This is our second, my so second trip. So, yes. <laughs> Excellent. Wow. Well, it's great coincidence I met you here. I'm actually on my way to the trail, and Rhea's around here somewhere. Have a good trip, guys. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. I said, man, this is the coolest store. Even my reps come in and say, I heard about this place, but I just couldn't imagine how cool this place was until I got here and see everything that we do. I think it has a lot to do with how diverse we are because there, there are not too many businesses out there that are as diverse and do the things that we do. I mean, every time I get a new idea, like we used to sell trampolines like they were going out of style. They got a trampoline. Oh yeah, this one's coming home with me. And then just in the last little while, I said, I want to sell trampolines again. So we, we ordered them, we got them, and now we're selling them again. I think the community's been good to us, and, and we, we've come a long way in this business for what we for our area, for sure. Much better at shooting inanimate objects than animals. Hey, Todd. So, Chad. Yeah? I thought you said that the sights were off. That looked pretty good. Well, I, I may be rethinking it. I, 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 I could have overestimated. I don't know. No, you're fine. Uh, it happens to the best of us. Yeah, well, you know, it's a little disappointing. Yeah. 
But yeah, we've got some new stuff. You want to come check it out? Okay, let's do it. Okay. All right. Hey, right now it's time to go to the Along the Way. We'll be back with more At Your Leisure from the gun shop. <laughs> Machines of all shapes and sizes tear up these man-made courses on a hot, sunny day here in Millard County. The Delta Classic Rock Crawl is an exciting motorsport experience that's worth putting on your calendar. They call it the Delta Classic Rock Crawl. Uh, if you look behind me, there's obstacles all over the place. People take their Jeeps, their side-by-sides, their rock buggies, contraptions they build at home. They drive over uh, different courses, different obstacles. Think of like extreme parallel parking. You're trying to do it the best, most efficient, uh, smoothest, without any reverses, any forwards, that kind of thing. But yeah, we've been we've been coming back every year. Uh, Craig Stump started this event here back years and years ago, and said, "Hey, I'm doing this off-road rodeo," is what he called it. He did it for a long time, and then he kind of got he kind of retired from it, and uh, another guy took it over. Uh, we Rock took it over, and it's been having fun ever since. The locals here know how to have high octane fun and at the same time, put on a show that can turn an ordinary afternoon into an event you won't forget. Oh yeah, the energy out here is really great. You know, you'll be on course, you're taking things slow, things start to get, you know, you're not getting the obstacle as easy as you think you would and the crowd starts cheering you on. Of course, you use more throttle, which makes them scream louder and it's just, it's a great energy to feed off of. Having a good time, you know, Memorial Day weekend. It's always fun to get out and just, you know, play around on the rocks a little bit. With courses catered to every experience level and opportunities for all ages to have a good time, the returning competitors and spectators have a small community that at a second glance has a heartfelt touch to it. Everybody who does this is just close knit and we all connect, help each other out. And I uh, tore a vessel in my brainstem when I was 15, which left me paralyzed for a while. And I have a tremor on the left side. I used to ride bulls and this is the closest thing I found for adrenaline and to do that. So I started doing this and it got addicted to it and now you know I've been doing it for seven years now. Well, I mean I started doing this here because I live here in Delta and I my Jeep used to be a regular street vehicle and I was playing out here competing and rolled it and now I turned into kind of a buggy but I mean it's just a big family. For At Your Leisure along the way in Millard County, I'm Nick Chase. Tri-State ATV Club is a off-road centered club in Hurricane, Utah. We're a organization that we like to have fun. We like to stay involved in issues that affect the off-road community. We like to do service projects. One of the best things that we do is the Tri-State ATV Jamboree. We meet every month and we have over a thousand members. When you fill up at Eagle's Landing, you're doing more than fueling your vehicle. You're fueling the local community. Eagles Landing is committed to serving the communities they live in by supporting local students, first responders, and veterans through scholarships, charities, donations, and events. Eagles Landing, with you for the long haul. Discover new horizons in Millard County. Stand at the edge of the earth on Notch Peak. 
the second highest sheer cliff in North America. Explore the vast expanses of the Pavant Mountains with an off-road adventure on the Paiute Trail. Take a step back in history with a visit to the Territorial State House in Fillmore, or try your hand at archaeology, digging for prehistoric fossils. Millard County, the heart of your Great Basin adventures. Safety, 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 safety tips with Steve. Today we want to talk about how to safely load and unload your ATV out of the back of a pickup truck. First thing you want to do is get your ramps anchored to the pickup truck. Make sure the ramp is safely secured. Put your helmet on and steady on the throttle as you load into the back. Safety, safety, safety tips with Steve. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. Yeah, I feel like Daryl Dixon. Get, oh yeah. <laughs> get me a zombie. From Walking Dead. It's awesome. Let's put this in our arsenal. I think we should. For sure. And one more yeah. thing you guys need ah. in your arsenal, if you don't want to Ooh. put them down permanently, yeah. is a is a Berna air rifle or air pistol. Uh -huh. So it's non-lethal. Non-lethal, use a CO2 and you launch his pepper, pepper balls out of it. Uh -huh. It will stop bad people from doing bad things without killing them. I love it. This would be sweet for the city slickers. Correct. Do you need a concealed carry for that? No concealed carry. Because? It's a launcher, not a weapon. Oh, there you go. All there right. you go. Write it up. We'll add there it to you. Me. Go. Right on. Hey, we got to get on some other business right now while I get our final ticket here. Uh, let's take a look at next week's show. Next week, Kevin and Gina are headed to Salina to show off everything to do when the balloon festival takes to the skies. Then, we're getting back into the UTVs and scrambling through the rocks as we hit another one of the 50 trails in 50 weeks in an attempt to check out some ancient ruins. Finally, when OHV clubs go on organized rides, there is always someone who knows everything about the trail, and we're going to show you how they become so knowledgeable on the State Park's Big Ride. Now, let's take a look at our Trail of the Week. This week's trail is the Joseph to Fremont State Park section of the Paiute Trail. The trail from Joseph to Fremont is one of the many side trails of the Paiute ATV system and is a great way to get off the main trail and enjoy things that are a bit more secluded. To get more information on this or any of the other trails that have been completed on the Trails 360 program, visit Outsiders.Zone. Well, we weren't here five minutes, it was six hours. <laughs> it was. Well, I think that we we're are still... finally we're finally ready to leave because we have no more money to spend. That's right, and we are still heading to the trail. Yes, we are in this. Yeah, a little bit different style. Yes, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm unhappy. I'm not complaining. Well, I, I can't wait to hit the trail with them. Those guys are good salesmen. That's oh, all yeah. I gotta say. Oh yeah. Anyway, just remember. <laughs> There's adventure around every bend, sometimes even in the middle of the city. That's right. You just got to get out there and find your own adventure. At, At your, your leisure. leisure. We'll see uh, you next uh, time. Are you going to drive this for the... You crib? know I'm driving. Oh. Uh...